Before I move on to probably the harder um, divisions of polynomials, and that's kind of question four, you know, when you have to divide it by a binomial, all right, so these are the harder ones, okay, um, you kind of divide it by two things instead of one. Well, let's just go back and look at question three, just to make sure you're okay on those. So remember, just do a straight division for each one. 30 divided by 6 is 5, okay? x8 over x6 will leave me with x2, x squared. So straight away I can see that these don't have it, 5x squared. Anyway, that's just a multiple choice answer. Um, okay, so how about uh, 24 divided by 6? Okay, that's a plus because there's a plus there. Okay. Um, 24 divided by 6 is 4. Uh, now look here, now beware of this, x6 over x6, they have cancelled. Some people leave an x in there. No, x6 over x6, anything divided by itself is 1, or you can think of the call cancelled. Um, if you need a 1, you kind of might have to write it in, but 4 times the 1, all right? So I've already got 4 there. Um, 4 times 1 is still 4. So you could say that kind of, okay, that's leaving with the 4. Uh, you can see that's why there's 4s in some of these answers, all right? Now, here's the extra thing. So that hopefully, so, so, you know, so far you've done that kind of thing before. Um, just the 30x8, then the 24x6, both divided by 6x6. So, 24 divided by 6 for the last one, all right? 24 divided by 6, again, is 4. But now look, x4 on top, x6 on bottom, all right? So I know I cancelled it last time, that was just for that term. But I've still got it here for the x4 over x6. If you think x4 over x6, again, where's there more x's? On the bottom, by how many? By 2. Okay? So that would be the answer to that one there. Okay? It's just that little extra extension at the end. If you've got more x's on the bottom, they're going to end up leaving some on the bottom. Okay? And for the second term, remember x6 over x6, it's like saying the x's have cancelled. Now, <clears throat> I want to move on to um, division with binomials. So let's have a look at this now. Okay, so I've just put one up here. All right. Now, suppose you're going to divide x squared plus 8x plus 15 divided by x plus 5. Well, first of all, let's think about long division. Let's have a look at this over here. How many 8s in 43? Okay, well, that's what you do. Okay, 5. Now, remember, to get the remainder, you multiply back. All right, 5 times 8 is 40. So you'll have three as a remainder, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it at that because I'm gonna tackle this long division like that. Now, the idea is honestly, really, you're only dividing by the x. The plus five will come back into it when you multiply back, like I did here, okay? When I multiplied back. So you're not really dividing by the five, you're just dividing by that first thing, the x. So let's have a look. First term is an x squared, okay? Here. I'm going to divide by that x here, all right, that x there. What's x squared divided by x? It's x, okay? Right. Do what you did over here. Da, 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 da. Let's multiply back. What's x times x? It's x squared. Be aware that when you subtract, because remember, that's what you do, remember? That first term will always go. x squared, take away x squared, is gone. Now, what's 5 times x? That's 5x, okay? Right, and just like over here, we now subtract to find the remainder. If I subtract 8x, take away 5x, I get 3x, okay? And remember, when you're doing long divisions, bring down the next term, that's plus 15, okay? So, there you go. Right, then you start again. Again, my new first term, is 3x. So what's 3x? Again, just divided by the x. All right, again, notice I'm not divided by the 5. Right, what's 3x divided by x? Well, that'll give me 3 plus 3. Okay. And again, I'm going to multiply back. I'm going to what's 3 times x is 3x. Now notice this one 3 times 5 is 15. So when I do subtract both of those, actually I get no remainder. So actually x plus 5 goes into x squared plus 8, x plus 15, x plus 3 times. That's the long division. Now, for those of you who realise that if you factor x squared plus 8x plus 
15, you get x plus 5, x plus 3. Okay, that's why those two are the answers. All right. So if I divide it by x plus 5, I get x plus 3. If I had divided by x plus 3, I would have got x plus 5. That's how you do the divisions of binomials, but I will do a couple more of those. Okay.